caring for tropical butterfly pupae. Most pupae are going to arrive in a cardboard box or a polystyrene box like this. As soon as the box arrives, you should open it and check the contents. The pupae are packaged in cotton wool and you should make sure to remove any threads of cotton wool from the pupae when you hang them up. As you can see there, the pupae look healthy and fresh and should begin to hatch in a few days. In this box, we have white morpho pupae, scarlet mormon, blue morpho, and a postman butterfly. I'm going to be showing you a few different ways to hang up the pupae and the conditions that you need to keep them in. First thing you should do is gently remove them from the box and take off any threads of cotton from the pupae. One of the things to look for is that some will have a silk pad where the caterpillar has attached itself to the plant and some won't. If they have a silk pad, you can simply thread a pin through this. And then hang them up in a place to emerge, like so. If they don't have a silk pad, or you want to put them somewhere else, then you have a few options of how to suspend them. Firstly, you can use copy decks, which is a perfectly safe glue to use, but is quite slow drying. You can use aquarium sealant or silicon, which is used by a lot of butterfly houses, or you can use a hot glue gun if you have one available, but you do need to wait a second or two for the glue to cool before you put the pupae into it. You don't want to burn them. You also have an additional option of using microfiber cloth, which we'll come to later. Here we're going to glue up some porcelain pupae onto a piece of card. And if you're only planning to hatch a small number of pupae, this might be a really easy way of suspending them. Just put a dab of glue, and then you can lift the pupae into position. And within a matter of minutes, the glue will start to set, and you can suspend the piece of card. Alternatively, you might want to use a cane. This is what you'll see in most butterfly attractions. Here again, we're going to use copy decks. You simply put a small dab onto the cane, and then position the pupae onto it. Like so. Or we can use the hot glue gun, make a small dot of the glue onto the cane, wait for a second, and then put the end of the pupae into it. Like so. And as you can see, it's already set. Here we have a morpho pupae, which doesn't have a silk pad attached to it. You can simply hang the pupae up by hooking it on to the microfiber cloth. Sometimes it looks quite precarious, but it's surprisingly well attached. As you can see, this one isn't coming off easily. So now that you've attached your pupae to a piece of card or to a cane, where are you going to put them? We're now going to look at the emerging cage options that you have. If you're only hatching butterflies as a one-off or in very small numbers, you can simply use a cobble box. Make two holes, one at each side, and you can thread the cane through and suspend your pupae that way. Place some of the cotton wool in the base, cover this with tissue paper, and then keep it damp. This will create some humidity. This will work for species such as Papilios, Caligos and Morphos. Alternatively, you can use the polystyrene box that your pupae arrived in, in a similar way. Another option for low humidity species is a pop-up cage like this. Simply place a piece of polystyrene on top 
and you can pin the pupae to it in the usual way. If you're planning to keep butterflies more long term or are expecting to regularly hatch out pupae, you might want to build an emergent cage like this. Start off with a plastic box and using a hot glue gun attach sheets of polystyrene to the sides and the top. Cover the top with a microfiber cloth and place the cotton wool and tissue in the base. You might also want to place a heat mat underneath to increase the temperature. It's also useful to have a small thermometer or humidity meter inside the setup. For emerging pupae, the best temperatures are between 20 and 29 degrees and humidities of over 80%. Personally, I use high temperatures of 26 to 28 degrees, but you can have reasonable success with all temperatures in that range. So let's get the pupae hung up, ready to emerge. And you can see that we've simply pinned up the card in the emerging cage in the same way as the pupae. So now that they're all ready, what happens next? Well, over the coming days, they will start to hatch. You should maintain the humidity and the temperature, keep the tissue paper and cotton wool damp, and check them regularly to remove any that have hatched after a couple of hours. Around about one day before the pupae start to hatch, you will notice that they go much darker and you can see the wing pattern through the case of the pupae. If you're extremely lucky, you might witness the butterfly hatching and pumping up its wings. After a couple of hours, the wings will harden and you can remove the butterfly and put it into your flight area. Unfortunately, not all of your pupae will emerge perfectly. Generally, 80 to 85% is the normal success rate for emergence but hopefully this shouldn't happen too often. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in another video.